Then I'm back upon the road in search of places grander For that's the way I live my life for travelling overlander From the Haylands, I head to the rugged west coast, stopping in for a dingo's breakfast at the quaint village of Strawn. I'm going to take some back roads, including a ferry crossing, to get to Marawa on the northwest corner. The scenery and camping is pretty spectacular out here, although the roads are rough and you don't want to pat the wildlife. Tasmania has some of the best cold water big wave surf breaks in the world. Shipstern's Bluff on the Tasman Peninsula is particularly treacherous. Surfers have to bunny hop small lumps of water that appear on the wave face due to the shallow reef underneath. I'm doing a story on Marawa because it is renowned for its year round surf. The north and west coast of this region can handle pretty much any swell direction. Surfers also report warmer water temperatures than in Victoria due to the proximity to the shallow currents of Bass Strait. I interview Marawa's rising hope in state competition surfing, 16 year old Zach Gray. I live on Green Point, it's just we're on sort of a little bit of a hill and the um, ocean's at the bottom of the hill and we sort of run a farm along the point and you know, have beef cattle and yeah, it's pretty good, you know, you can sort of work when you, you know, want to and get a fair bit of, t like you have to do a bit every day, but you can sort of get up early and do it if you want the rest of the day free, you know, it's not, it's not a nine to five job, so it's good for dad to take me, take me surfing. I like, I like surfing the west coast and northwest coast because the swells are, more powerful than other places and we get swells often you know like there's always swells somewhere if it's small at one place there'll be you know swell at another place i really want to explore like down the west coast and stuff because i don't think not many people have really really explored it you know they've sort of done a few trips to places that have known but and yeah nobody's really like took time out and just gone down there and looked at every place there's not really many local surfers. Oh, there's a few local surfers around this area, but you know, they're only sort of keen when it's pumping a lot of the time, a lot of the older guys and stuff. So yeah, sometimes it's hard to find crew to come and surf some of the more solid waves with, you know, you need someone out there a lot of the time. And yeah, I've sort of got used to surfing by myself a fair bit and stuff. So yeah, it's just the way it is up here, I suppose. I don't mind it. It's better than having 50 people out. <laughs> 